those whom we honor in this sacred time and space. Soldiers on post are still coming to grips with the thought that a man who was trained to heal their emotional wounds could inflict so much tragedy. I suffer from, from PTSD and I've been, you know, I, I've been seen for it. I'm on medication for it. And the fact is, you know, he, he was an individual that was supposed to treat people like me and my fellow soldiers. And and then he goes and does something like this. He's supposed to prevent these kind of actions. One young soldier, Amber Barr, was so intent on helping others, she did not realize for some time that she herself had been shot in the bank. The scars from Thursday are still fresh at Fort Hood. The, the visit from the president was an important town. one. But it's just one of many steps in the healing process that for some will last a lifetime. I knew uh, one soldier that has lost his life in this tragedy here at Fort Hood. Also know personally two soldiers that are survivors that are in the hospital right now. Private First Class Cam Gong. One by one, the president spoke the names and told the stories of the 13 killed here. He honored their sacrifice and in the process brought comfort to many. It's, it's a good morale boost of us, you know, you know, telling us that, you know, he's not too big to come down here and pay respects to, the, to our fallen comrades. The Army has uh, flown in grief counselors from across the country to assist those here on the post. Meantime, he was communicating with the terrorists. That's the word coming out of the early investigation into the background of the man accused of the Fort Hood shootings. Okay.